Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Carlos Rivera. It is a beautiful morning, and I'm so glad to be with you today. Uh, literally, uh, I'm Rose and I are actually out of town, and uh, but I wanted to thank you guys for joining in this morning. Good morning, Vicky and Michael. Good to have you on board, and Sharon Johnson and Geraldine. You guys are awesome. Sally, Sally Sears. Praise God. Glad you're with me this morning. Listen, I am so blessed. Hilda, cousin, good to see you again. Dennis Lopez, my brother warrior. God bless you. Diane Smith and all the others that are coming on board right now on Facebook Live. And of course, we have those that are also on the conference call that are coming on right now. And it's just one of those mornings. I uh, We're actually uh, taking some time away. I'm in Virginia Beach right now, so I'm looking at a beautiful sunset out the window right here uh, but it's good to be with you and I'm looking forward to just sharing the word and gathering together in prayer and just believing God for victory this morning amen I believe that as we gather every single morning uh, uh, during the weekdays I don't know about you but I am edified and I hope you are as well praise God amen God bless you Pastor Joe good to have you and Yvette Saunders glad you're with us this morning morning. Amen. Well, listen, today's we're going to open up with a scripture here like we do every single morning. Jeremiah 29 11. That's Jeremiah 29 11. Many of us know this scripture, or at least we should have it memorized. Right? K. Andre May. I know you have this one memorized. Praise God. And so does Donna Lee. So praise God. Jeremiah 29 11 says this, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. What an encouraging scripture. I read this scripture often. It just lets me know that God is in control and God has a plan for my life and he has a plan for your life as well. Amen. So, we, as, we, so as we continue to seek the Lord together, we can see that God has something great. Now, you know, I want to just open up with this statement and say this, God will ruin your plans when he knows your plans will ruin you. Mm. I tell you, so often at times when we make plans that don't work out, see, we often get mad at God. See, we want to take God by the hand and we want him to bless what we do. See, God's desire for you this morning is that we align ourselves, that you and I align ourselves with his will because he established his purpose for us way before we were even born. You know, as God was creating everything, he already had you in mind. In the word in the word of God in Genesis chapter 1, where it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, while he was creating the heavens and the earth, he already had you in mind to place you in this specific time in history and equipped you to be all that you needed to be to complete your assignment during this time amen so i want you to know that god has a plan for every one of us it's going to be a good plan it's a plan for a good future and hope as well and remember this god makes better choices than we make for ourselves <laughs> god makes better choices than we can make for ourselves amen well praise god i want to get right into our prayer focus this morning and there's three things that i want to encourage you with this morning as we go forward and the first one is this be faithful in the little things be faithful in the little things matthew 25 23 says this well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over many things see you need to understand this point little hinges swing big doors little hinges swing big doors acorns produce oak trees little things really do matter don't they develop a passion for details don't let out the little things those are the things that challenge us the most it's the little details that sometimes slip through the cracks that cause all kinds of issues amen Listen, develop a passion for details. You know, just do the basics. Uh, keep a budget. Balance your checkbook. Pay your bills on time. Continue to plant your seed in the work of God. See, when you continue to do these things over and over again, be faithful in the little things, then God's word says that he'll make you ruler over many things. 
and do, see, but God needs to know that we're faithful, amen? And our faithfulness is tested in the little things. When no one's looking, amen? When no one can pat you on the back for what you're doing, being faithful, God sees everything you do, and God will reward you according to your obedience to him, amen? So praise God. And remember, when you're faithful in the little things, expect to see miracles every day of your life. Expect to see miracles every day of your life. Listen, just waking up this morning was a miracle, amen? God's resurrection power got us out of bed this morning, and now we're able to do what God has called us to do today. So just be encouraged today. Remember, be faithful in the little things. The second thing is this that I want to pray, I want to pray and focus on this morning is exhibit good character. Exhibit good character. In Proverbs 22.1, that's Proverbs 22.1, God's word says this, A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. You see, a good name is so important. See, confusion is the fruit of deceivers. But when you have a good name, and wherever you go, it creates order, then God will bless you. See, your, your good character will glorify the Lord, and you'll find favor with men as well. See, truth is the most powerful force on earth. It cannot be changed. Listen, the truth is the truth. See, cherish your integrity. Keep your word. Make what you say what you do. Amen. Make what you say what you do and establish a good reputation of reliability. See, never make a promise that's impossible to keep. Never make a promise that's impossible to keep. Listen, if you can't do it, just let them know. Don't say, well, I'm going to try. And, and deep down inside, you know it's going to be a challenge. You know you're probably going to stretch yourself. Well, rather than taking a chance of setting expectations like you're going to do it, tell them, listen, I'd love to, but I don't think I can make it happen. Then you know what? You're better off saying no and disappointing somebody by saying no than saying yes and disappointing them because you didn't do it. Mm, that's good stuff right there, folks. Listen, God wants us to have good character so that we can be good ambassadors for Christ. Amen? Praise God. And the third thing is this, and this is something that I believe is very important, especially in a time like we're in right now. And this is, this is great. Listen, the third thing is this. The difference in seasons is an idea. See, I believe God wants to give us God ideas, not just good ideas, but God ideas. Look what Isaiah 48, 17 says. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. You see, in this scripture, God is saying that, hey, listen, there is, there is a place where I can provide for you financially. That word profit is P-R-O-F-I-T, profit, not P-R-O-P-H-E-T, Prophet, but though I may be prophesying in your life right now that there's going to be an idea that we need to think about something that'll be a blessing. See, God has countless and varied ways to get finances into your hands. Sit down today, listen, sit down and brainstorm. If you have friends, maybe think about certain things. I had a discussion with somebody yesterday uh, who owns a business. And, uh, and, and of course, during this time of, of this season that we're in right now, a lot of things are changing. And, and you see, I just began to ask her a few questions. And you know, it began to stimulate some, some maybe trying to figure some things out and kind of clarify some things of how maybe we, we need to reinvent ourselves at times, amen? But listen, God's got ideas. God's got ideas. Listen, I'm always trying to come up with ideas uh, to, uh, to fund our ministry. You know, New Life for Youth is a program that reaches out to young men and women. And it's a one-year residential program. So you see, to, to be able to clothe and house and feed, you know, all these men and all these women, it costs something, amen? So we're constantly, my wife and I, Rosa, and some of our team, we're constantly looking for ways to fund the ministry. And God has given us some great ideas and that we're, that we're constantly 
constantly carrying out. But listen, at the same time, we know that God has people as well, amen, that have a heart for this ministry. So we're believing that we need one of our ideas is how to let people know what we're doing, how to get awareness out there. Because in the midst of this COVID, uh, this COVID situation where people have died because of this virus, there is a virus that's killing more people and has been consistently for a whole bunch of for the last 50 years. And listen, it's drug addiction, it's heroin overdoses, it's happening all the time. People are dying, but no one's hearing about it because there's other things that have the spotlight. But listen, continue to pray for God ideas for your life. God has things for you that you need to do that you can better wherever you are, amen? And together, listen, to together pray to God to give you financial ideas Come on, that you for you that for you to birth, you know, things that you could think about that can better who you are, where you are, your family, and of course write them down. Write down some ideas of things that you can do to, to be a blessing to others, amen. To really be able to 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 really uh, bring good things into people's lives because God will bless you with a God idea, but part of his idea is also to bless others. He'll give you overflow. So he'll give you abundance because when you have abundance, then you don't only have your needs met, but you're also able to meet the needs of others, amen? And that is so important and so powerful as well. Praise God. Well, listen, thank you so much. Put, lift your hands up right where you are. I hope God's word just encouraged you, but let's just take a few minutes right now just to pray just to give God glory and honor this morning. It's a beautiful day today, hallelujah. It's a great day, and right now, Father, we just lift up our hands to you. We just thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you, Father God, that even now you're with us. Father God, you said that when two or more are gathered in your name, that you would be in our midst, and we know that you're here right now. We acknowledge you right now, Holy Spirit, and we thank you for being the most valuable person in the room right now. So Holy Spirit, come and lead us and guide us this morning. Help us to magnify the name of the Lord. And Father, in Jesus' name, help us to be faithful in the little things. Help us to not overlook things, Lord God, that are important, Lord Father. We know they may seem small, and sometimes they may even seem insignificant. But Father, in Jesus' name, help us to continue, Lord God, to be faithful in what you've called us to do, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord God, that you would help us, Lord God, to be good fathers and good mothers and be good sons and good daughters, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, to be good husbands and wives. Lord, sometimes we think that other things are greater, but these things are so important in your sight, oh God. Our relationships, Lord God, may seem like little things, but Lord, in your sight, they weigh heavy, Lord God. They, we know, God, that you love people and you love relationships, Lord God. So help us to be faithful in everything we do, oh God, because we know that when we're faithful in the little things, your word says that you'll make us ruler over many. And we believe that right now, God. And we thank you because we know that being faithful uh, sets us up for increase, oh God. So Lord, in Jesus' name, we thank you for everything you put in our hands that we can do it with excellence. And Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to display and exhibit good character. Lord God, to have integrity, that what we say is what we do. In Jesus' name, Lord God, help us that we know that our name is the best thing that we have. It's the greatest thing that we carry, Lord God. So in Jesus' name, let our name mean something. Let our words mean something. Let there be integrity, Lord God, in our lives, that we can truly be a blessing to those around us, that when we say things, that we'll have a good reputation, Lord God, of being, of being reliable, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. If we said we're gonna, if we say we're gonna do it, that we'll get it done, Father, in the name of Jesus. So Lord, thank you right now, Father God. Help us, Lord God, to measure our words, to be people of integrity and honesty and truth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, help us to be creative today. Help us, Father God, to find God ideas, not just good ideas, but God ideas, Lord God, ideas 
that will bless us, ideas that can bless our families and bless those around us. Give us ideas to bring finances, Lord God, into our lives that we can give more to God's work, oh God. Help us in Jesus' name, Lord God, to be faithful in all that you're doing, Lord God. And we just thank you this morning, God, because we know that you have a plan for everything that we do. And you are a creative God. And in Jesus' name, we can be creative because we are created in your image, oh God. So give us ideas. Ideas. Help us not to get stuck, Lord God, in places and feel helpless and hopeless when we have the, the mind of Christ that can be creative and we can speak things into existence. Help us to speak positive things in our lives, Lord God, that we know will make a difference, Father, in Jesus' name. And praise God, listen, right now, put your lay hands on your prayer request. We gather every morning and I encourage you to bring your prayer requests. So put your hands on them right now as we begin to pray for our families and our loved ones. Let's take a time right now to intercede for others as well, our friends and our colleagues at work. Just lay hands on them right now in Jesus' name and begin to declare those names right now. Come on, begin to declare the Father in the name of Jesus. We thank you for our unsaved loved ones. We pray that they will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And our friends and our colleagues at work, oh God, that you will become real to them the way you become real to us, oh God. So in Jesus' name, we thank you right now for their salvation. We pray for those that are bound up in sin, in addiction, in bad habits, in pornography. We come against these spirits that are trying to bind up the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, we command these chains to be broken right now. Spirit of deception, spirit of gossip, spirit of division, we come against you right now in Jesus' name. We command those spirits to be broken in Jesus' name. We command those spirits to leave right now, Father God, in Jesus' name. We bind them up right now, Father God. Now loose your spirit of, of integrity. Loose your spirit of peace upon your people right now in Jesus' name. And Father God, we thank you for provision. We thank you for great ideas, Lord God, for things that we can do, Lord Father, to be productive, Lord God, to occupy and, and, be, and do good things for others, Lord God. Help us in the name name of Jesus, Lord God, to meet every need. We know that you're still Jehovah Jireh, our provider, oh God. You're Jehovah Rapha, our healer. So in Jesus' name, Lord God, we speak healing over those that need a physical touch from you. I pray you will heal them and touch them, Lord God, right now in Jesus' name. You said it's by your stripes that we were healed. That's your word and that's your promise. And we believe it this morning, right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray for your provision divine provision, Lord God. Oh, make a way where there is no way, oh God. Provide for your people. Provide for our families and loved ones. Provide, Lord God, for all the needs of ministries, Lord God, of church, of new life, and, and new life for youth, and all the other churches uh, in Richmond and in different areas, Lord God. Just loosen the finances right now in Jesus' name, Lord God, that we can accomplish your assignment and your will right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. And Lord, we thank you that even now, Lord God, minds are being healed, hearts are being, are being wounded, hearts are being healed right now. The brokenhearted, Lord God, are feeling strength right now and hope in their lives. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, for the victory today. Amen. We thank you, Lord God, that we don't pray from a place of defeat, but we pray from a place of victory. We know that it's already been won at the cross. Jesus already did it. And in Jesus' name, we stand before you, God, this morning. And we thank you for those that are being saved. We thank you for those that are being healed. We thank you for those that are being delivered. We thank you for divine provision for every person that needs it right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you that we're lack no more. We thank you for shalom, nothing missing, nothing broken, everything replaced, everything renewed right now in the name of Jesus. That's right. The victory belongs to you right now and we receive it. We thank you for it and we give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor in Jesus name we pray and all those that love the Lord will shout. Come on, shout it out. 
Amen. Listen, I know I'm getting loud, but guess what? I'm in a separate room. Rose is sleeping in this room, and I'm here. I'm in Virginia Beach right now on vacation, so I'm here right now. Just glad to be with you this morning. Praise God. And listen, I want to close with this scripture. It's found in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you. Listen, trust the Lord this morning. When you trust God for your day, God promises to give you perfect peace. When you keep your thoughts, amen, when you keep your mind closed in on him, focused on the Lord. Listen, there's a lot of voices right now. There, there's all kinds of negativity in the air. Listen, turn off that television. Don't worry about that radio right now in the name of Jesus. God has plans for you and God is going to do great and mighty things. So praise God. Listen, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Listen, continue to pray for our nation. And remember Sunday, November the 6th through the 8th is Spirit Revolution Camp Meeting at New Life. You want to make sure you're there. Bring some folks with you. And remember, when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. Amen. Listen, God bless you and have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. God bless you. Oh, praise God. Sorry about that, folks. My phone got kind of dark on me, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like out here today. So as I'm walking up, let me walk over here real quick and just give you guys a quick view of the beautiful sunset in Virginia Beach. I'm just going to walk out here for a minute. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Holly, isn't that beautiful out there, folks? I tell you what, I love Virginia Beach. Anyway, God bless y'all. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. And I will definitely look forward to being with you. And of course, um, Craig Simmons, pray. Oh, there's all kind of, listen, put in your prayer requests. Please, please, please put in your prayer requests this morning. And we will pray for you. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day.